this RGB intensity actually works very similar. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off that one filter. So now we just have this front color filter. We'll go ahead and set that gray range back to zero. And our mask is set to one just to confine it to our object. But again, in order to uh, make a selection here, I need to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna say, take that mask set at the negative one temporarily. And then for this color, again, just click and start dragging off and then hold down Alt and you can select the color of what you see on your object here. So we can set it to, you know, this value. And just like gray range, we're gonna use RGB intensity. We'll set that to 100. And one more time, we'll take this mask and we'll set it to our object here. So whatever this value is, it's now filling that with red. You can change this exponent if you want it to be a little bit more or a little bit less of that, but we'll go ahead and keep it 25 default for now. If you want to ever change this or be more inclusive, you can drop this down and it'll start including more colors around it or you can change it completely, this mask, by going in here and just grabbing a different value. So as I hold down Alt and just click, it'll go ahead and choose different areas of my object to fill with that paint color. And again, you can stack these, so you can go, you can copy this one, and then we'll paste it into this filter. We'll change this uh, from a red to an orangish. Hold down Alt, and we'll select that one. And now we have red confined to one value and orange confined to another. Let's go ahead and go back up here one more time. Go ahead and reset that filter. Paint up to 100. Color to red. Mask to negative one, so it's on the background. And we'll go ahead and, uh, actually, we'll keep this filter on. We'll go ahead and turn F1 off. And let's talk about this normal and normal exponent. Essentially, if we go up here and we change this mask to just be masked onto the object, if we take this normal and set it to one, you're gonna see everywhere that the camera is looking is painted red, and then as it deviates from that angle, it gets less red. Uh, that's all determined by this little arrow right here. If you click and drag and like set it to the lower right-hand corner, you're gonna see everything from the lower right is red, and then everything that's not is less red. Same thing if you do upper right, or to the left, or to the right, or to the top. So you can use this to kind of color your object as well. Now the normal exponent is gonna choose how, is gonna show you how soft or hard uh, that normal fall off is. So it's kind of like using a world normal map to determine how this color gets masked using the normal information from your object. And then right down at the bottom here, this is the red, green, and blue channel. Any filter right here, uh, you can turn off red, green, or blue, or combinations of them. So if we wanna turn off the red channel, the green channel, or the blue channel, or the blue and the green, or the green and the blue, you can go through here and you can change which channel is applied to that filter.